if you have been wondering how can I pay my tuition deposit or school fees in the UK using the form A without having to go through the black market rate of 920, 915 uh, naira to a pound. I'm gonna, in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step process of how to use the new form A system to pay your tuition, deposit, your tuition fees here in the UK. And if you've not done it before, whether you're in the UK or you're still in Nigeria or still, uh, or, yeah, still in Nigeria trying to come to the UK, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step you need to take and, uh, and the documents you need to upload. So sit right and if you're just coming, subscribe, do well to subscribe to this video. So my name is Emmett Gideon and the YouTube channel is Jabba Decoded. Let's dive in, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, so for those of you who are looking to pay your school fees using the new Form A system, the, this is how you do it. Now, the first thing is to go to the CBM portal, which is the trade systems, and then click go to portal. So it brings you to this page where you can log in. But if you do not have an account yet, simply click on register now here. Select individual and request your BVN. Once you impute your BVN, it's going to ask you to enter the details of your um it's going to send an otp to the email address that is registered with your bvn so but in my case since i already have an account i'll just go back and sign in now an otp has been sent to my email address and i'll just enter that otp here So remember, if you are signing in, if you have a challenge with receiving your OTP, just go back to your bank where you reside your PVN and request that they link your email address correctly. Now it has brought me into my account. What you want to do is your details will be here and just click start application. Now the first page is pre-filled with your with the details you give when opening your account so you click next and select educational fees and then under educational services transaction purpose postgraduate studies value for forex yes now this is where you enter your school details if you are paying to a school enter your student name and passport number and then the school bank account details if your school does not have an intermediary bank ignore this section then I'll come here select the currency and the amount once you've done this you enter the bank details your bank name and the branch of the bank then you attach all the required documents so i'll just go ahead and show you one of mine the last one that was just debited uh, so these are my personal details yeah this is the bank details i entered Educational category, post, post studies, postgraduate studies. These are my school details, student details again here. Yeah. Then my school bank details here. Yeah. And then, of course, the amounts I was paying in that installment. So, all of this will be attached after it has been approved. So, I made this payment at 560 naira for a pound as opposed to black market rates and what documents did i submit school bank details so look for any document containing your school bank details and give them if you don't have that document it can be a screenshot really but you need to have that document whether it's an email or a screenshot upload your offer letter 
your passport data page and then write a letter authorizing the bank to debit you. So why they may not state this, it is a requirement. And then school B for the period. So if you are a new applicant, you need an invoice. Uh, you don't need an invoice, just use your school offer letter. And if your school does not give you B for the period, just go ahead and still use your offer letter that shows your full fees. And then your first degree certificates. So that's that's it. That's the that documents you need, and this is the form details. So that's it. Go ahead and apply for your form here and get enjoy the benefits. Alright. See you guys in the next video.